Well before anyone had ever heard of COVID-19, income inequality in the United States had been increasing over the past 40 years. While the lowest earners' wages have barely increased over this period, wages for the highest earners have increased dramatically. So while everyone on average is making more money, incomes in lower and middle income households are not growing as quickly as higher income households, making the gap between the lowest and the highest wage earners even wider. In 1980, average income of the top 5% of earners was just over three times greater than the average income of all Americans. In 2018, the top 5% was earning closer to five times the average. This trend becomes even more pronounced the higher one goes up the earning scale. The top 1% of earners made eight times the national average in 2018. Looking ahead, analysts fear COVID-19 may widen economic inequality further. This stems from the fact that many of the sectors most impacted by COVID-19, like hospitality and retail, also employ many low-wage workers with limited savings and mobility. What's more, COVID-19 is accelerating structural trends in the economy that were already underway, for instance, to greater automation and more digital commerce. While these developments can boost efficiency and enhance productivity, positive for overall economic growth over the medium term, they also take a disproportionate toll on lower skilled and lower income workers. Based on research conducted by the Opportunity Insights Economic Tracker, earnings among low income workers decreased by 36% and employment rates among low income workers decreased by 38% from January to May of this year. To date, government responses to the pandemic have helped to lessen the economic impact. But with the benefits about to expire and the end of the pandemic still many months, if not years away, continued support will be necessary to shield the most vulnerable from economic fallout. For more from CSIS Economics on COVID-19, visit csis.org economics.